everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Mariola. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I create videos about uh, fashion and styling with a focus on re-wearing your clothes, being creative with your wardrobe and just loving your clothes, uh, having fun with them, not taking fashion too seriously, but being conscious about the environment and the impact that we have on the planet. So with that in mind, I created another video for you. This one is about one of the most exciting and one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe, which is blazer. So blazer is a very interesting garment. It elevates your outfit, even if it's just a pair of jeans and white t-shirt. All of the blazers I have bring me joy and every time I wear them, I know that my outfit looks really good put together and I look my best. Just to kind of introduce you to the structure of this video, it will be divided into two parts. The first one will be theoretical, focusing on very important elements of a um, blazer, especially when you're buying a new blazer. So what to look for in a blazer, what cut, style, material. And the second part will be a lookbook. Different outfits that I created for you for different occasions and different moods. There will be timestamps for you to easily navigate the video. I hope you will watch the whole thing, but if you just want to skip to the lookbook, you're very welcome. So let's start with the first part. Oh, before I start, everything I'm sharing with you is a result of my personal experience uh, my experimenting with different lasers over 10 plus years and learning on my mistakes. So what to look for in a blazer? And I believe the most modern, but not trendy, the most classic and timeless, but not outdated, would be slightly oversized. If you're not sure what, how much of oversize you need, I would say just try it on with a jumper or a hoodie underneath. If you put uh, something underneath and you still feel comfortable, nothing is pulling, everything still looks great, and then when you take off the jumper and put it on your t-shirt, the blazer still looks presentable. It doesn't look like you took it from your five, six sizes uh, bigger brother or husband. I believe this is gonna be very personal for all of us. Also, I get a lot of questions from uh, petite women out there I believe petite women can wear anything they want. I think it's all about styling, first of all. If you style everything properly, you give yourself some definition, meaning the waist, you pull up the sleeves of, of your blazer or you open the collar of your shirt, it will all make the outfit look so much better and it will show your skin, this is very important. In terms of fit, everything I just said applies to everyone. I, I don't differentiate petite, tall or um, I don't know, plus size. Uh, I think everyone looks great in a blazer first of all. This is something that elevates our looks and I think everyone should be able to wear it. Only thing is, uh, I would say the length. Uh, I'm not sure how this one hits. I think the blazer should just cover your bottom and shouldn't be any longer than that. Please avoid any mini fitted blazers. And I'm not talking about cropped blazers because they are great. I love them. I don't have any, uh, but I really love the look of them. But there is a style, and I will put a photo here, which I remember from my, my mother, my uh, grandmother's clothes, fitted uh, short blazer, blazers that hit your hip because they, they are aging, they don't look good. They are very hard to style with anything. They just very old fashioned. Even women in their 60s and 70s can wear an oversized blazer. Now, in terms of style, there are two blazers that you will find anywhere you shop. And it's either an, a single or double breasted. What's the difference? A single breasted has one line of one, two or three buttons. In my case, it's only one but I have men's blazer that has two buttons and that's more common in men's fashion. Single breasted blazer is considered more casual. The style is used in sport clothing, in uniforms like school uniforms and the double breasted blazer 
is considered more formal. It has an excess material that overlaps from one side. I think it's usually from left, but I'm not sure. And it's got two rows of buttons, and it's usually four to six buttons, uh, of which only one line is functional. In my blazer, um, only one button is functional and the rest is purely for decorational reasons. Double-breasted uh, blazer has different lapels. This part is collar and this part is lapels. And in double-breasted blazer, uh, these uh, are usually, most commonly, peak lapels, which go up and out. And the single-breasted blazers usually have notch lapels. And they create this uh, triangle shape here. Another important factor when it comes to choosing a blazer is color. I'm talking about um, capsule wardrobe, your basic, most um, crucial blazers that you need. I would advise that you have black or a navy for the dark colors and beige, camel or grey for something light. So then you have, um, for example, navy and grey. And to be honest, these two blazers are really enough in your wardrobe to create multiple beautiful outfits. Uh, for the very basic wardrobe, I wouldn't recommend or I wouldn't say the patterned blazer is a must. I'm not a big fan of um, pattern in general. There's only a few patterns that I like in my wardrobe. But of course, um, you choose whatever you like. And I know many people like Czech blazers, Prince of Wales blazer. That's actually really nice too. And now to the most important element of buying a blazer is the material, fabric composition. This is like, <laughs> this is a number one important Thing. So first of all, look at lining. Lining should be made from breathable material, something that will be kind to your skin. And that is viscose, acetate, cotton, silk, and I think that's it. <laughs> so that's the lining, that's the inner layer of the blazer. The outer fabric should be either 100% wool, the more common I feel is wool mix, but make sure that the content of wool is more than 50%. And of course your lining is already good breathable material. Now you can also find cotton or viscose blazers, desirable for vegans out there. Um, and that's it. I will not on this channel recommend polyester blazers because I, I don't believe a polyester blazer is a good blazer. That's it. The last thing, where to buy the best blazer? First of all, second-hand shops. Thrift shops, um, vintage shops, charity shops, whatever it's called in your area. Try these shops first and try men's section. Especially if the blazers come from like 20, 30 years ago, most likely they're gonna be made very well and of very good material. Just like this blazer I have here, I would call it tuxedo blazer. This is a vintage Hugo Boss which I got for £15 and it's amazing, amazing uh, material, I mean to the touch. It's beautiful composition because it's 100% wool and 100% viscose lining. So everything I look for in a blazer. If you can't find anything or you don't have any good shops around you, a good uh, vintage shops around you, you're gonna go to normal shops and the shops I can definitely recommend is first of all Arquette. Most of my blazers come from Arquette and I haven't been disappointed with any of them. I will try to link some shops below but I must say that I'm really struggling with finding very good blazers on a budget. Even around 300 pounds point there is still a lot of polyester. I don't understand that. I don't know why companies do that. For the price they offer, it's not acceptable to me. But you can definitely check cause. Some of their blazers are of very good quality, at least what I saw online. And I know cause in general, I'm happy with their clothes. And other stories, I really had high hopes, but almost every single blazer was uh, some kind of uh, polyester mix in terms of lining. I really don't like that. I think that's it. I think I've exhausted 
everything uh, I wanted to talk about in terms of the practical side of the blazer. So now let's move on to the lookbook section. So I'm going to start with my uh, very favorite outfit formula for spring and autumn actually, which is um, exactly what I'm wearing right now, uh, a pair of uh, crop trousers, a white t-shirt and a blazer. As simple as that. In this case, as you can see, I'm wearing my navy trousers and grey blazer. I love navy with grey, I think it looks really good together. I love that it's so simple. But I think a very important element here is a white t-shirt. It makes everything more fresh and clean and crisp. If the t-shirt was black or striped, it would look really nice, but not as fresh. Here we can see different versions of this fit. So I'm wearing the same t-shirt and trousers, and I just swap uh, blazers. And that's the easiest way to change up your look. That's why it's nice to have a few different blazers, two, three different blazers. With the second one, I decided to go all navy. I'm wearing my men's uh, arcade blazer just to add something interesting and to be very realistic because I wouldn't go outside like that now. It's a little bit too cold. I put a cashmere jumper over my shoulders and actually I've decided to include my linen blazer because we can still wear linen right now. I still wear my blazer, I still wear my uh, linen trousers and I added, instead of jumper, because to be honest now is this time of year when I can finally wear my layers and that's why also I love the blazers so much because I can layer so much with them. So here I decided to wear my cashmere scarf or cashmere shawl if you like because it's really big. I actually got it in TK Maxx last year in America, I believe it's called TJ Maxx and this is a place I highly recommend if you're lucky you can find amazing quality pieces for really good price. Brown taupey scarf goes really well with my sand color linen blazer especially with the white sneakers. What I love about this formula is that it's so versatile. So I can easily wear it in the morning to school to drop off my girls and then meet up with the parents for a coffee or if I'm running to work, to the office and I'm wearing quite smart t-shirt, uh, which actually I am in this case because it's more of a knitted uh, top than a t-shirt, I can easily wear it in the office. Maybe just swap uh, sneakers for your uh, stilettos or a loafer, something more comfortable, whatever you wear in the office. Plus, you have very comfortable shoes to walk in to work, so I think that's a great option. I love to add a lot of dainty jewelry or chunky chain, like in this case, maybe a big bracelet. I would change things according to my mood, but that's a great canvas for whatever you want to accessorize it with. The second look, or the second category, uh, is a monochromatic slash tonal look. Here, I would say you just go to your wardrobe and look, first of all, what blazer you have. If you have black, then you can go for all black. It doesn't have to be all black, by no means. You can add something lighter, because all black is very harsh and not everyone can wear it. But maybe you have all navy, that's a beautiful option, or all grey or beige and so on and so on. I have prepared again a couple of options here. The first one is more casual one with uh, one of my um, recently favorite pair of jeans which I rediscovered after years. Uh, this is my old pair of jeans uh, for your information with black t-shirt and a black blazer. Very simple but again because of that clean canvas I can add whatever jewelry I want as much or as little and when it gets cold, of course here I'm wearing my loafers. I can wear boots or I can wear my uh, chunky derbies with socks. And on top of that, when it gets cold, I love that look, you can add a trench coat or your wool coat. Very simple, very elegant look. The first thing you see is just a long coat. But when you look closer, you've got this blazer picking out and all the matching colors and that's the beauty of the tonal outfit. It's always gonna look more elevated. The second look I decided to go for all navy because if you've been following me especially on Instagram you would know that I have been obsessing over 
navy or navy lady. The navy top that you can see underneath the blazer is a new addition to my wardrobe from COS and this is 100% merino top. I'm one of the most sensitive people to wool. I can't wear any jumpers, tops, but merino is my discovery from last year that uh, surprised me so much. I, I still can't believe that I can wear a wool top directly on my skin. This is just a groundbreaking for me. So if you have similar problem, try merino wool. So yes, navy trousers, navy top and a navy blazer. And I added some jewelry and I love that. It's so simple, but it's not black, so it's not that harsh. It's gonna suit more people. Just so you don't think I only wear, or I only uh, suggest you wearing dark tonal outfits, I have another category that can also fall under category of uh, a tonal outfit. A wide leg trousers or pleated trousers that are very in lately. And it's something I really like wearing, but I know it's not easy to style because when you have your oversized blazer and wide leg trousers it all can feel too much and very overwhelming so the best thing to do in this case first of all maybe don't choose too oversized blazer i'm actually wearing my biggest blazer but i'm actually comfortable with that if you feel you need a little bit more definition i would advise you going for one of your more fitted blazers. Make sure that you don't wear anything chunky underneath, any oversized t-shirt. Uh, just wear something slim, a uh, slim t-shirt, um, merino wool top, just long sleeve t-shirt, something that will accentuate your body underneath that bulky material. Plus, uh, you can wear your trousers with the belt. It will create some definition. Pull up your sleeves, again and uh, maybe wear some necklaces that create this v shape i would say maybe stick to a slimmer footwear i wouldn't wear anything chunky with such outfit because it, you know there's already a lot of volume so we want to keep it nice and slim so i would only wear either my sneakers with it or my loafers either white or black the next category is skirts in autumn, skirts can be worn in a more edgy and androgynous way and that's something I really personally like. In autumn I can wear my skirts with boots, more chunky jumpers. So in this case I'm styling my black viscose skirt. Well first of all I wanted to make it uh, realistic so I'm wearing a cashmere jumper and I would actually really love it as it is but we are talking about blazers today so I had to tack the jumper in because it will be just out of shape and balance. So I'm wearing my pointy boots and that's perfectly fine. I love that look. If you wanted to make it more edgy, you could uh, swap those boots for either military boots or like in my case, I'm just wearing my uh, derbies with socks, which I've been really loving lately. I couldn't really decide or maybe I wanted to leave a decision to you whether it looks better with black sock or with grey sock. I think black is more elegant and classic and grey is more fun and more young I would say. From more classy and feminine look I'm moving to a casual borderline sporty and that's something I would wear uh, in the morning uh, when I have to get up early and I really don't want to when I have to drop my girls to school or I have to run quick errands and I don't really have to stay outside all day. I have, actually have two uh, looks here, one with joggers and one with hoodie. Uh, the joggers uh, look is my favorite. I think mostly because of the colors, they're more uh, muted and very calm. For such outfits, it's quite sporty, let's be honest. Uh, I add one of the most luxurious materials, which is cashmere. And on top of that, a wool uh, blazer. Uh, so that creates a very nice, first of all, tonal, very calm. Also because of the fabric, it creates very nice and elevated look. Plus, uh, here I'm adding a beautiful cashmere scarf. I always feel like oversized, huge scarves add something more nonchalant and elegant at the same time. I just love that uh, added 
element it's it's really not much and you don't even have to style it you just put it on but i really love the dimension also because of the layers i think it's just more interesting with that i'm wearing my black bag and you can either go for tote something big and practical because let's say you're running some errands or a smaller bag but again i will go for something more elevated i don't agree with people who say if you are wearing uh, casual sporty clothes you should wear casual bags i think it's quite the opposite because you want to add some points to the outfit you want to elevate it and bag definitely does that and the second look is my black balloon jeans with the hoodie and the same black jumper that i wore in my previous outfit so this is quite casual but it's still put together all black basically and just added beige hoodie but also I uh, wanted to keep my accessories quite elevated so I'm wearing my um, black loafers, black bag of course and I'm still wearing my belt and by the way if you're wearing something like that and you are somewhere you go to your friends or you go to the cafe if you're wearing a nice t-shirt or even a vest underneath you can remove the, the hoodie and you have great outfit one of the best combo when it comes to outfit uh, formulas is blazer and stripes and it can be striped t-shirt jumper or a shirt if you have one but they just always look so good especially you have a uh, white and navy stripes and the navy blazer so i created uh, again a couple of different outfits so in the first look i'm wearing um the same trousers again a striped t-shirt and the navy blazer this is very cohesive and very predictable <laughs> which uh, there's nothing wrong with it i really like that and with such outfits you can always add um, different color jumper on your shoulders you can play with the bags maybe some accessories but you can leave it as it is because it's a really great outfit uh, so for the second look I wanted to add something as I said for a change of color so I swapped my navy blazer for a beige and I think this is a really nice look beige goes so well beige or camel uh, whichever color suits you they go so well with stripes and I would probably stay with the with smart trousers. It's still very put together, but it's not um, so uniform. It's not so matchy-matchy. It's easy, it's simple, but it always works. So it's worth remembering. So I'm back to my uh, more feminine element, which is a knitted dress. If you follow my channel, you probably recognize this dress from my summer uh, videos. I wore it a lot in summer and last summer. It's very versatile and because of its simplicity, it's such a great dress to wear with anything. So this time I decided to wear it in autumn with my blazer, of course. And I'm just wearing it without any top, but you can easily layer a fitted turtleneck or um, a long sleeve t-shirt. I would just go for black to stay with the same color palette and it just looks more like a, a long sleeve dress. And I decided to wear my chunky derbies here, which I feel like gonna be a number one footwear for me this autumn. They are comfortable. I can wear them with socks. That means I will be warmer than with just, uh, say, loafers. And uh, I think they're quite edgy and, you know, like uh, they have personality. But here I did something very unexpected, unplanned, and I actually love the result. I was changing from my skirt outfit into my dress outfit. So I just put dress on top of the skirt. It looks like the dress has uh, shiny, luxurious panels on the side. Plus, it doesn't add any bulk to the outfit, to the dress at all. And, you know, knitted dress probably is not the warmest in autumn. So I feel like it adds another layer of insulation. As I mentioned before, I still wear my linen pieces, especially my blazers and trousers. And here's another category where I clashed a very uh, different pieces together and I think they really work and it is linen white trousers and very thick chunky uh, turtleneck and of course blazer on top of it it looks very again very cozy very calm very muted because of the colors I don't think it's too casual for some reason to me at least 
it looks very put together and uh, classy. I would say this is more everyday. Just uh, again, running some errands, maybe having coffee outside with your friends. But the second look of the category that I didn't even mention, which is a turtleneck, is very different. Actually, I'm wearing all black, which is black fitted turtleneck and black summer trousers again. I didn't think of that. And on top of that, I'm wearing my a lovely uh, puppy tooth blazer from All Saints. You know, it could be any blazer because it's just black base, but I really love this blazer here in particular because the black from the outfit corresponds with the black in the pattern, so it's like very cohesive. With this look, I feel like I could wear any bag, any loud accessory and it would still look great because I only have these two colors and I really love the beautiful shape and uh, structure of the double breasted blazer on top of black outfit especially when you button up and you have this lovely shape almost hourglass because I feel like this was originally the plan with menswear to create this um, hourglass uh, shape to accentuate the muscles here and and waist not my typical look because i like oversized but this really resonates with me the last two outfits i wanted to leave till the end because they are not my typical neutral and uh, minimalistic scandinavian looks but i feel like they still vary me so the first one is leather trousers with a blazer as a word of advice if you're looking for leather, trousers, skirts, look in vintage shops because there's a lot of leather. It may take you some time, but you will find something really interesting. I finally found the perfect fit. The pants were like £35, I think. Really good price, very good condition, by the way. Uh, the only thing is they are very long. So on the video, you can see they are folded twice that's how i'm gonna want to take them in but i need to find a very good tailor because i don't want anyone to mess them up i love a combination of leather pants with a blazer and it doesn't matter what blazer but here i paired it with my vintage um tuxedo uh, blazer and i think it's just great i know before you write anything i know this blazer is humongous I did analyze uh, the purchase before I made the decision. I knew of the ways I can style it basically. But here I decided to wear my merino navy top. I love this very long sleeve in the top, peeking out ever so slightly from under the blazer. It adds this interesting layers. With that I'm, I'm wearing high heels, but you could also wear your uh, loafers, something flat or your pointy boots maybe if you don't have such blazer because first of all it's double breasted it's men's blazer it's very oversized so i wanted to show you in contrast with a single breasted also men's blazer navy how different silhouette it creates i like them both i think i really like the first one more as an evening date night if you were going out out i would wear something uh, slimmer a yeah, tank top or Cami. And the last look is something I would wear if I was still going to the office. And of course not every office is equal, but if you work in more relaxed, casual office environment and you need to wear shirt, trousers, skirts, but you are free to choose the colors, which I was very lucky to when I used to work in the office. This is really great to show your personality, to wear something different but still stay within the classy elegant office appropriate clothing i often see it in men's uh, fashion especially office environment uh, pairing navy with pink and i love that combination quite recently i got this pink shirt and i actually love it i've tried it on with so many things and i think it really works I can create so many different outfits with this shirt. By the way, if you're interested to see how you can create different outfits for different occasions with this shirt, let me know. I would be more than happy to uh, make that video for you. So anyway, this outfit is quite conservative um, in a form, 
but you add a pop of color. Another thing different and more contemporary is that uh, chain necklace. With that, you could add maybe a nice chain bracelet. I don't think that's too much. Or you can add a belt, just like I did here. And you can either wear your loafers again, some flat black navy shoes or whatever color you prefer. Or you can go for stilettos. And I think that would be like really nice punch. And uh, I think that concludes all of the outfits I prepared for you. I hope you enjoyed them. I sure had fun creating them. As a last thing, thank you so much for watching, for subscribing, for commenting. It gives me a huge motivation and a kick to work harder, to create more. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe now because it's, it really means a lot to me you won't miss any future videos and actually it helps my channel to grow and the next video will be all about trench coats so i hope you will come back to see this video next week thank you very much and see you in the next one bye